I'm Eyeball John and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'd like to show you how to flare uh, the quarter panel on a C2 Corvette. Uh, I'm going to do it something a little different, making this car a resto mod. Um, so the, I'm not going to do a flare like typical flares like we used to do back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, no, we want to keep the car looking um, pretty much original as possible. So what I'm going to do is uh, flare it out, uh, what I like to call a cheater flare, what they used to use back in the day uh, when they wanted to, when in racing, uh, they wanted to get an edge over the competition. So what they did is little things to change the car that weren't noticeable um, to put a wider tire under the back of the car. Uh, so what they used to do is just keep the appearance of the factory quarter panel, uh, but flare it out a little bit so you can stick a wider tire under there. So that's what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to cut this uh, about three quarters of an inch above the body line and bring it out an inch and a half and then re-glass it. And then from all appearances when you look at the car you're really not going to notice it unless you know what you're looking at and you can see that the quarter panel is sticking out a little bit. Uh, but uh, keep the factory lip looking uh, original and all the body lines looking original. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try to achieve. So uh, follow along. Okay, so here's the quarter panel and what I'm going to do is uh, just take some three quarter inch tape and lay out a line going along the top of the body line. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to mark it. Let's go along. center all right so this is going to be my cut line and what I want to do <clears throat> is cut it along here split it here with this line um, this way I have enough to glass on to here without going into the bottom lip uh, but first, what I'm going to have to do is to separate uh, the inner uh, rear splash support and the front just so I have some room to flex the fiberglass out uh, enough uh, to bring it out an inch and a half. Uh, then I'm going to make a couple of, take a couple of pieces of wood and cut them and just wedge them in, bring this out so that I have the inch and a half that I want. Um, so that's pretty much it. And uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, so what, uh, what I did was release the uh, real splash support on the quarter panel. <laughs> I just broke it loose. Uh, you can see red fink peeking in over here. And what I'm going to do now is, I also drilled a small pilot hole over here so I could use the uh, air saw to cut a line and bring out the quarter. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, cut along the line I made and uh, separate the quarter panel. Placed in the center also. Uh, then I cut a piece of wood. I, first I measured to see the distance uh, from the 
inner frame to the edge of the lip and it was 12 inches. So what I did was cut a piece of wood 13 and a half inches to bring it out, an inch and a half. All right, so what you can see is what I'm trying to achieve right now. Uh, right now it doesn't look too good. You're saying, probably saying, what the hell is that? But uh, I have to put a few more wedges in to bring the quarter panel out to where it's a smooth transition. Uh, it's not supposed to be peaked in the middle, of course. So let me make a few more wedges and then I'll come back and show you what I got. Okay, so a few more wooden wedges placed in. And you can see it's looking a lot better. Um, this is what I wanted to achieve, a nice smooth flow of the quarter coming out. And once that's glassed in, you're really not going to be able to tell uh, that the quarter was widened. So, keeping the stock appearance, the stock lip. Uh, you could buy quarter panels that are flared out like this already. Um, I think it's usually around 1000 to $1,200 a pair. But uh, if you're a little uh, crafty and you want to do some fiberglass work, uh, this is the next best thing. And you can pretty much bring it out to whatever you need. Uh, so now I'm going to just do some grinding and uh, do some glassing. And I'll get back and show you the results. With all the wood wedges put in and one larger wood wedge coming up from the floor to uh, push up the top of the quarter panel so that it uh, will flow better into the bottom and uh, a lot less fiberglass would have to be used to uh, seam the two halves together. Um, I'll place uh, two inch tape from behind and do uh, one section at a time, either the front or the back. It makes it a lot easier. So you can see I cut the glass and laid it in. And uh, once that starts to harden up, I'll start glassing the front. And uh, as you can see, the quarter panel is completely glassed now. Uh, so I'm going to let it harden up and I'll move to the uh, passenger side and start the same procedure of cutting the quarter and moving the wedges out. All right, welcome back. Uh, the other side of the quarter panel is curing and I cut this side already and I uh, moved it out with the pieces of wood and uh, took measurements so everything is the same from one side to the other. Uh, inch and a half I brought it out. You can only do one side at a time, it's easier um, to glass just this side, let it cure, and then position this side a little better, and then add the glass. So I uh, cut my strips of mat, and uh, I'm getting ready to glass this side. So let's follow right. along. I cut the strips of mat. Um, it's easier to do it this way, to get your pieces all cut and ready in whatever size you need, and then you can tear them down as you go along. Um, also, what I usually do is after I cut them, I take them and I just give them a little squish and it relaxes the glass and it lets it lay down a lot easier than uh, when it comes fresh off the roll. It's a little stiff. Okay, it's uh, another view of this side of the quarter, the uh, cheater flare as I call them. All right, let's uh, do some glass work. Okay, I mixed up some resin and uh, ready to start. Again, just uh, brush the tack coat on. Make sure you get plenty of resin inside that area of tape. cut the mat to the shape of the area that's 
being filled in. I usually try and fill that in first. Okay, actually, I mean, the right way to do this is after this is cured and sanded, um, glass the other side too, the underneath. So you have your strength in the glass and also no one will know what was done to the quarter panel because if you look at it you won't be able to see it uh, now the other side if it was going to be bare glass I would tint it uh, with a little bit, bit of black spray paint and you'll get this gray finish uh, but since this is going to be a resto mod and everything on the bottom is going to be as nice as the top we're going to paint it to match all right here i've put on another piece of mat a little bit wider and again just applying the resin just dabbing it Letting it soak in. Uh, this resin I use, I buy uh, actually from a boat supply. And uh, this resin I buy, uh, usually get five gallons at a time. And it's very thin, the resin, which is nice because it soaks right into the glass and it makes the repair go a lot faster. Um, and you see I'm laying larger and larger pieces of uh, mat onto the quarter panel and just dabbing it with the resin and you can see that it's soaking right into the glass. And it's laying down into the opening that I made, the separation, uh, which you want also. So this way, it's gonna build up strength And like I said, I always put a f few extra pieces, more than what's needed. I build up the area. And this way, when I sand it, uh, I sand it to the level that's needed and it doesn't really need any filler. Okay, you can see everything is Soaked in. Mm. All right, back on the driver's side. Everything's nice and cured. Uh, I'm going to start knocking it down with uh, one of my favorite tools, the 8-inch uh, orbital sander, the uh, Bondo eater, as I call it. Um, I'm just going to give it a knockdown uh, to as level as I can get it, and then I'll finish it off with the longboard. So let's go follow along. fast with the uh, Bondo Eater, uh, knocking it down, and uh, still have to go over with the longboard. As you can see from these dark areas right here, these are low spots. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll cut some more glass and lay it in there and fill it in. Okay, so far so good.
So as you can see, I've added another layer of matte and I gave it a little spritz of black spray paint to tint it a little bit so that it matches the quarter. Um, after it was sanded, you could still see there are some low spots shown by the dark areas. Um, you could fill this in with a little Bondo, but uh, uh, what I did was just mix some resin with some Cabasil uh, as a thickener and a little black and spread it on uh, and filled in the little low spots. I also grinded and glassed the back lip of the quarter panel um, so that I can get rid of that peak. And now you can see that the quarter panel flows very nicely. Um, and it's filled in and it's smooth. So that's the end of this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and ask questions. Until next time, I'm Bo John signing off.